Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to install Norton 360 in Windows 10. There are different versions of Norton 360, and if you want to learn more, please check this Norton 360 review from me. Now, let me show you how to install Norton 360. I purchased my Norton 360 online, so I got an email message with the download link and the product key. But if you purchase the physical product, you will get a card with the download link and the product key. If this is the first time you're using Norton 360, it's best to create an online account to better manage your subscription. So let me go back to my email message. I'll click the download link and it'll redirect me to the Norton LifeLock page. I'll log into my account. Like I said earlier, if you don't have one, you can just create one. It'll bring you to this page. Click on this option to enter your product key. And in this box, Enter your product key and click this orange button. In this next section, you need to provide authorization for automatic annual renewal. You can disable this later and I've created a separate tutorial on how to do this. So you'll need to enter your credit card information here, then scroll down. Agree to the terms of sale and click the start subscription button. Next, you'll see these two options. This first option is for installing Norton on your computer. Click the Agree and Download button. You'll see the screen and a download prompt. Click Save File and then go to your browser's download section. I'm using Firefox here. And then click on the downloaded file. It begins the downloading process and then begins the installation process. You will probably see a prompt like this. Click Yes. And let it complete the initialization process. On this screen, click the Install button. As it begins installing, you'll see various screens like these. And if you encounter this error, just restart your computer. And once it restarts, it will automatically complete the installation and run the live updates. But that's pretty much it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.